I wanted to show you if you're feeling a little overwhelmed with trying to get your sticker kits or using your stash and it's it's losing its fun, right? Go back to basics. Hi everyone, welcome back. This is April with Plan With April and this one that I'm doing this, this flip through maybe, walk through, it's more of a walk through. This is the Hobonichi Cousin Techo. It's the two, is the two books per year, uh, six months in one book, six months in the other book. I did an all pencil layout this week and it is just a regular, this is a pencil that is made from 100% recycled paper, which is kind of cool. My uh, Kate Spade eraser that I have had for probably four years and to sharpen, it is this uh, just a random little pencil sharpener. So nothing too fancy. And I think when we talk about budgeting and we talk about uh, functional planning, this this is a lot of all of that. It's no stickers, there's no frills, there's really nothing decorative in this one. It is completely functional. So let's go through it. Let me show you what I've done. So along the sidebar, which most of you know, I don't normally use the sidebar. It's just not, I don't know, it's not something that I in the past have had very, very good success with. So I put over here, I've got my bills for this week, the date that they are due and what is due, okay? Below that I have meals and these are six meals for the week. I haven't decided necessarily what day they're gonna fall on so I will move them over in one of these blank spots once I figure out which meal goes where. And then I've got a spot for the book that I'm reading this week. I haven't actually written it in there because I haven't chosen it yet. So you're getting kind of a sneak peek of what I'm reading or what I'm not sure I'm reading yet. Up here, I've got the weather all the way across the top. Looks like our weather is getting nicer and nicer and nicer. I hope this is a trend that continues because I am so over the Pacific Northwest rain, over it. I decided to do something a little bit different. I went in with a checkbox. So I've got a couple of checkboxes here, a couple of here, and then for my work schedule, I, I've done a few things and you can see that I've erased some things in here because I was trying something different. Also, another benefit of using a pencil. So I, I like this where I put the work in the middle, like what I'm doing, and then I draw a line and I come over and I go all the way down. I feel like it looks clean. I shaded it in and I just didn't like how it looked. It just looked too heavy, too cluttered. So. Yeah, I like, I like this for work. And then Wednesday I'm off, so I did put in that I'm gonna do some filming, shower and get ready. Kennedy, we're gonna feed a baby cow, so that will be fun. And then um, I'll do some more filming in the early evening on Wednesday. For Thursday, that's payday. I've got work, but within work, so I've got this line that is work. Within work, I have an additional meeting that will probably run past my normal hours that I work so I marked that a little bit different so that it stood out and then of course um, Friday I've got work on my way home I want to stop and get fuel I will also probably put in here that I want to pick up groceries but I'm not sure yet I've got them ordered on Tuesday I don't know if I'm gonna pick them up Thursday or Friday it just depends on how Thursday goes and then on Saturday, I do need to get some seeds planted for the garden. And then I just made a checklist of the things that I wanna get uh, cleaned. Wes is writing, so I marked that time as well. And then Saturday night, we've got a friend's dinner, which will be a blast. Depending on what time we make it back home from that will depend on when I start filming on Sunday. So that's, that's pretty much all the information that I would need to put um, in this on a regular basis but just doing it with pencil maybe adding just really simple lines rather than stickers especially if you're you know you're going through your stash and you're like you know what i have done tons of stickers for the last few weeks i just want to i want a easy breezy uh layout this this could possibly be it comment down below let me know if you're going to try this layout i know this is a super quick just bada bing bada boom 
but I wanted to show you if you're feeling a little overwhelmed with trying to get your sticker kits or using your stash and it's, it's losing its fun, right? Go back to basics, grab your pencil, grab your eraser, go in and get back to basics on it so that, you know, you'll find inspiration again, inspiration and simplicity, right? I love you. I hope you have a really good day and I will talk to you down in the comments. Bye.